This is KNEV.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meats. Dealing with some scattered thunderstorms around the area this evening. They will taper off uh, probably shortly after 7 o'clock. By 8 or so, they'll be out of the forecast and into the partly cloudy skies down to near 50 to start tomorrow morning. Again, uh, some scattered storms. They're going to end early tonight. We're going to really be on repeat with the forecast today, tomorrow, Thursday, maybe a brief lull Friday, Saturday, a good chance of getting some thunderstorms. Temps cool down Sunday and we're going to be drier and cooler uh, next week. 83 yesterday after a high of 51, so slightly above normal. Just a trace of precip again. Still all we've registered is a trace for the month. We can't get any more than that right now in Scotts Bluff, certainly more in many other areas. We, I think, cracked that 10 inch mark though this afternoon with some of those scattered showers and thunderstorms. You can see where the showers and storms have cooled things off. 88 in McCook, 90 in Hayes, 88 in Norfolk. Not the case out here in the Panhandle. We have 70s where some of those showers have come through. 69 in Lusk, 74 in Torrington. A persistent band of showers setting up here in the northern portions of the Panhandle. And a few with some gusty breezes here coming across Garden County down towards Sydney. Uh, otherwise, winds are fairly light. Severe weather threat, not uh, very high today at all, uh, exception up here in the upper Midwest, certainly a better chance of some severe thunderstorms. We just have a marginal risk of severe storms. We've seen some of those storms this afternoon produce nickel size hail, which is just below severe threshold. A uh, quarter size hail is considered threshold, so take it the size of a quarter there versus the size of a nickel and not much difference. Tomorrow, severe weather threat uh, pretty low across the area. Same situation on Thursday. Uh, better chances of severe weather coming into our northwest. We may see that slide into our area Friday and especially Saturday. Is that Saturday looks like it's going to be uh, the most active day. That persistent band of thunderstorms is going to quickly die off. Look by 8 o'clock. Skies have cleared. Temperatures are going to be very comfortable overnight. Another great night to open the window outside uh, as temperatures are going to fall. Not too bad uh, down into the upper 40s to low to mid 50s. 57 in Valentine, 50 in Scotts Bluff for a low tonight. Tomorrow. This forecast should look pretty similar. Clear skies through about lunchtime. We'll start to see some showers and storms build up to our northwest into the mountains and roll across the area tomorrow. Isolated coverage of showers and storms tomorrow. Uh, about a 30 or 40 percent chance again tomorrow across the region. I think Thursday is going to be maybe a slightly less chance than that. 85 warm degrees tomorrow in Ogallala, 72 in Cheyenne, 79 in Wheatland. Not much precip out there. Hard to add much up. Uh, from those isolated thunderstorms. Again, some will get some rain and some will not. So tonight, breezy, thunderstorms end early. Winds are going to die off 5 to 10 miles an hour after we get out of those th that thunderstorm pattern. Lows down around 50 for us. For tomorrow, same situation. We've seen this. Partly cloudy skies will build up in the afternoon with some clouds, some late day thunderstorms. Maybe a 30 to 40 percent chance tomorrow afternoon and evening. Highs of 83. Very, very uh, mild conditions out there in our seven day forecast near 85, both Thursday and Friday. Good chance of storms again late Friday. Better chances of storms come late Saturday. Highs in the upper 70s. Look at Monday, Sunday. We cool down into the mid 60s only to get back into the low 70s for early next week. Fairly calm conditions look like they're going to be coming cooler than uh, where we've been this week, but about normal or slightly below normal to start next week and mainly dry conditions.